Hey guys! Welcome back to those of you who subscribe to me. I am going to make a gift card giveaway just for you. Just click the bell and smash that like button. No, just, just kidding. Got... You get absolutely nothing. Okay, let's just get into the video now. Great, <laughs> By using statistics, I'm going to show you how to distribute the stats for the highest chance of winning. I mainly use this website even though the damage scaling for each run is a bit off. As you can see in this formula, the scaling for the damage is 1 plus 0.4 multiplied by the turn number, but on the website it is 1 plus 1 third multiplied by the turn number. It doesn't make such a large difference and it would have been way harder to work without this website. Link in the description if you want to check this site out. And if you want to be able to download this Excel Arena Simulator thingy work in progress, just tell me and I will provide you it. I made it myself, so I can understand the formula better. This work in progress also has some formulas and tips at the beginning. So first up, I mainly try to find out what is better to skill. Constitution or the main attribute without regarding any kind of portal bonus. I will afterwards talk about all the other stats which honestly don't have such a high importance. I always let the same classes fight against each other which could have messed up some results for the mage but we can still predict his power strike pretty well. Constitution versus main attribute. I'm using realistic values for level 350 characters but I also tried everything for lower levels and the win rate is pretty much the same there. Just to make it clear, first up I always used an enemy player with a 66 main attribute points to 33 free constitution point distribution. So that those are the 66%. And then I always used an enemy play player with a 50-50 distribution. As you can see there. The warrior always has a decent win rate from 70% to 85%. But at the second graph he has a really high win rate compared to the two other classes. With around 90 and 100% there. Next up we have the scout. He doesn't seem to have such a low win rate with bad stats. But that balances itself by him not having such a high win rate like the warrior. The same goes for the second craft too. And now the mage. I know the statistic looks so weird compared to the two other ones. Because at some point it does not even matter how much damage you do as a mage because you are getting one shot due to the lack of constitution points. So there it will always be a 50-50 win chance. Referring to the 25% win rate, you have a 50% chance of getting the first turn and a 50% chance of getting a crit there. So 50% multiplied by 50% equals 25%. On the second graph, you can see that it has a lot of ups and downs, which can also be mathematically explained. It is not important in the end though, because it just fluctuates around a few percent. How to skill. So before summing up those statistics, I recommend to also skill side attributes like strength slash dexterity for a mage when the price is just around a tenth of the price for the main attribute. It is cheaper to do so because those side attributes still give you a slight defensive advantage, but as said, don't overdo it. And only skill it if it is much cheaper than the main attributes. Regarding luck, you can skill it at the beginning, but later on it is pretty much useless to improve it with gold. Because of the 50% cap and you get bonus luck for free from so many sources. Those black gems which get unlocked when one of your guildmates has a level 15 hall of knights. The fire bats 
which also give bonus points and later on you will have pretty much only wear epics and every epic does have the luck attribute. So now let's have another look at those statistics. First, the warrior, he has the highest win chances when he has 3 times more points in the main attribute. As you can see the 75% main attribute and 25% constitution. So buy points in constitution when the price is just a third of the price for the main attribute. I know it sounds unbelievable because warriors have such a good scaling on HP. I didn't even believe it myself but theoretically speaking it definitely works. So next up is the scout. And as you can see it is pretty much the same as, as with the warrior, just buy constitution when it's 3 times cheaper. And now the time has come for the mage. You can use the same tactic like the warrior and scout but you can also go all in for the full intelligence, 100% right? If you do that you will have huge problems against warriors and scouts. Because you can't one shot them, but that tactic would, would work pretty well if there were only mages on the server. And if you are some kind of RNG god. With that I want to say that you should really not do it. Apparently the tactic for the warrior works with every class due to it being the best balanced. You have enough damage and at the same time you won't get instantly killed. So now the time has come to wrap up the video. I just wanted to thank you for all the support on the last video. Didn't even expect 10 views. It really means a lot to me and it keeps me motivated to make more such type of videos. Thank you.